I take care of my mind, I take care of my heart, I take care of my body and I try to start the day right, yeah. Ooh. Hi, my name is Lisanna and I am from the Netherlands and I'm so excited to contribute a little piece for your Wellbeing Wednesday. And my message today is all about choosing what is right for you. Not choosing out of fear of missing out on something or choosing something and then later on being like, oh, I regret that. I wish I hadn't done that because now I feel way worse. Choosing really, really, really what feels best from your body. And actually our bodies are so amazing. They have a heart beating, they know how to grow, they know how to jump, they know how to digest food and think. Like our bodies are incredible. They're miracles and they always know what we actually need. So anytime I'm making choices, I make those from actually, how does that feel in my body? And we make choices all day, every day. We make choices on what we wear in the morning. We make choices on what we eat for breakfast or what snack we have. We make choice of how we walk to school. Do we skip and hop and get really excited? Or do we drag and make ourselves late and then we're rushing around? We make choices all day, every day. When a friend invites you to come over and play, you either choose to say yes to that or you choose to say no to that. We always make choices and a lot of times what we do, we just do things on autopilot or we just say yes, but without actually considering, do I really feel like doing that? What feels really, really good and right for me to do is really, really important because if I choose what is actually not feeling so well and feeling icky or like, oh, I actually in my body, I don't want to do that if I'm really, really honest with myself then I end up being tired, exhausted, drained. I'm not going to be fun at that party because I, I chose to be at a party when I really was just tired and I needed a rest. So when we choose what really is true and right for us, we always choose what's best for everyone else. So do a little exercise with me. Close your eyes, wherever you are, and just feel into your body. Feel into the clothes on your skin. Do they feel like tight and restrictive or are they very nice and loose and comfortable? Are you standing? Are you sitting down? Like, where are you in the room? Really, really feel into your body, your arms, your legs, your tummy. How does your body feel right now? And then I'm going to give you two choices and really, really feel into how each of these choices feel in your body. And let's say we get out of school, we get home and someone offers you a snack. And the first snack option is a cheese sandwich. It's a beautiful sandwich with fresh, beautiful cheese on top, some tomatoes, maybe some cucumber. Imagine that as a afternoon snack. How does that feel? When you think about that cheese sandwich, does it feel exciting? Do you feel like, oh yes. Or does it feel constrictive? And you're like, oh no. Like how does your body respond? Do you maybe close in a little or lean away? Or do you lean in? And are you like, oh, like taking a breath of excitement and curiosity? And then imagine the opposite, another snack, the other option. Imagine someone offers you a beautiful fruit bowl. And that fruit bowl is filled with strawberries and mangoes, apple, pear, beautiful, colorful plate of fruit, all chopped into little pieces. How does that feel? When you think about a beautiful plate of bowl of fruit, does that feel exciting? Do you feel like leaning in? Do you feel, oh yes. Or are you like, oh no, I don't want that. Do you feel like your body is closing, contracting? How does it feel? And then let's compare the two. How does your body feel when you think about the cheese sandwich? And how does your body feel when you think about the fruit bowl? And now let's come back to the room. And which felt best? Every single time when we make a choice, 
we can eat, we can feel how does it feel into my body to make this choice or to make that choice. And then always just go with whatever feels best and true and exciting and good and right for you. Because then you're always choosing the right thing. So anytime you're like a little bit confused, just check in. Check in how does my body feel with this decision or with that decision. And then we can start making choices always that feel good and right. And that we're not going to regret later or that are going to make us feel bad in the end or make us exhausted or tired. We always do the best, best thing that is right for us and which then always will be right for everyone else. I hope that helped you a little bit with making choices and increase your well-being because we always want to feel better and better and better.